When I went to the party, I didn't think things would turn out so badly. More and more young people are being victimized by the use of date rape drugs. Rapists are using a new weapon to overpower their victims. The use of a date rape drug is a coward's way of wanting to have sex. They don't want to establish a relationship, they just want to have sex. The two date rape drugs that are commonly used are Rufininol or Rufis and GHB. These drugs are silent and invisible. When hidden in a drink, they may be completely undetectable. I went to this party with my friends. At one point, I put my drink down on the table to go talk to my friends. This guy had been staring at me. Looking back, I think he put something in my drink. I woke up hours later. I was naked. I had been raped. I do remember that he was on top of me. I tried to push him off, but I couldn't lift my arms. They felt really heavy. The onset of these drugs can be very fast. GHB usually takes effect within 15 minutes and rafinanol within 20 to 30 minutes. You will experience disorientation, slurred speech, poor muscle coordination, and even paralysis. These drugs can cause an extended blackout that can last for 8 to 10 hours. You will have absolutely no memory of what happened. As the drug takes effect, the person who will most likely come to the victim's aid first is the person who slipped the drug in their drink. Their sole purpose is to get their victim away from everyone else so they can perpetrate the sexual assault. This messed me up for a long time. Now I can't relax in a social setting because I don't know who I can trust. I took a few sips of a drink and started to feel really drunk. If you feel like you are severely disoriented after a few sips of a drink or after one or two alcoholic beverages, you may have been slipped a date rape drug. My girlfriend started to stumble around. I thought she was really drunk. Later on, I found out that some guy slipped a couple of roofies into her drink. The drink didn't taste any different to me. When the drug dissolves, it is colorless and odorless. It may also be tasteless. These drugs are potent and destructive. They can seriously harm or even kill you. Always go to parties with friends that you trust. If you are in trouble, only go to your friends for help. If you feel like you've been drugged, go to your friends immediately. Have them take you to the hospital. Bring the container that you drank from. The residue of the drug will be present and they can check it to see what drug you may have ingested. You or your friends should request that the hospital take a urine. If you are in a place where you don't know anyone and you feel like you've been drugged, call 911. I woke up seven hours later in his bed. I can't remember what happened, but I'm pretty sure that I was raped. Rape is always against the law. Rape is a violent act. You may feel confused and disoriented. Due to the blackout, you will not have any recollection of what happened to you. If you suspect that you've been raped, preserve as much physical evidence as possible. Do not urinate, shower, bathe, douche, or throw away the clothing you were wearing during the incident. Bring the clothes in a paper bag. The evidence can be destroyed in a plastic bag. It's scary. I didn't even know the person. I don't know if he has a sexually transmitted disease. I was ashamed to go to my parents and my friends. I, I felt like it was my fault. If a friend has been a victim of a date rape drug, don't judge his need support from people who are trained to help. These include police, hospital staff, and counselors. The best thing you could do is prevent yourself from becoming a victim. Just follow these easy steps. Don't drink from a container you did not open yourself. 
Don't share or exchange drinks with anyone. Don't drink from a punch bowl. Don't drink from a container that's being passed around. If possible, bring your own drinks to parties. Don't leave your drink unattended while talking, dancing, using the restroom, or making a phone call. If your drink's been left unattended, just discard it. Cover your drink with your hand in a crowded party or club. Don't drink anything that has an unusual taste or appearance. When you're old enough to go to a club or a bar, if somebody offers to buy you a drink, accompany that person to the bartender and carry it yourself. Also, designate a sober person to check up on your friends throughout the night. Now when my friends and I go out, we have a plan to periodically check up on each other. We want to make sure we are all safe. Call 911 if one of your friends looks like they've been drugged. This can be a life-threatening situation that needs immediate attention. Don't be afraid of getting in trouble. Saving a friend's life is the most important consideration. Nice job.